I never do this with a uh, motorcycle style front fork because they're heavy. So because they're heavy, um, your bike will lean left or right if you don't keep your hand on the handlebar. But with this bike with a motorcycle style front fork, no hands. <laughs> like I feel comfortable vlogging and everything. Uh, just to let you know how smooth this bike is. What's up y'all? So the company that makes my favorite folding e-bike just sent me their first mountain e-bike. <laughs> so my favorite folding bike is the Vitalin i7 Pro and that is currently the e-bike that I use the most because it has everything. Like it goes 30 miles per hour, I can go up to 60 miles per charge. It's light enough. It has all of the features. So the bike that we received is a Ritalin T7 full suspension mountain bike. This bike has a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. And 20 amp hours is up there with the highest amp hours that I've had on an e-bike with a single battery. Advertised to go 80 miles per charge, uh, 28 miles per hour. It has a 750 watt motor with a 1200 watt peak this bike weighs 79 pounds and the maximum weight of the rider is 330 pounds again this bike has full suspension and i'm excited because uh um, you know i love my i7 pro we'll see if this bike stacks up to it you know what i'm saying to purchase this e-bike feel free to use my link and my code in the description below to get a discount so what we're going to do is unbox this put this bike together go through all of the features and everything we're going to go on road we're going to go off road really test out the abilities of this e-bike This is what the bike looks like fresh out the box. Looks like they did include a lot of wrapping here to make sure the bike doesn't get damaged during shipping. So this is what the bike looks like without the wrapping. Again, not seeing anything damaged or chipped on the paint here. So it looks like we're gonna have to put on our handlebar, which is uh, attached via wire here. A 26 by four inch wheel here uh, which has cst bft tires on it i have this on a few other e-bikes very grippy looks like we're going to have to put our front fender and our rear fender on this bike came with two boxes i'm going to start with the bigger box here pretty sure this is our battery charger and it's going to take four to six hours to charge your battery with this charger we have an operation and maintenance manual and we have a user's manual but it's looking like the operation manual have everything you need loving the pictures and loving how clear the steps look also shows you your advanced settings which is always good this box also came with our pedals pedals are labeled look like it comes with a rear reflector so i don't have a brake light and it came with a bag of tools Let's open our smaller box. Nice big headlight there. So the first thing that we're gonna do is put this front wheel on. Before we put the front wheel on, we do have to remove this from the brakes. Looks like this user's manual is really specifically for your crazy uh, DEM air shock rear suspension here with a lot of options to your rear suspension. I've never had all these options before. So we are now about to put our beefy headlight on. And I've had a bike with a headlight like this before. Um, and I've always wondered why they don't give you an additional buffer here um, to prevent the headlight from moving up and down. And, uh, but pretty easy to put together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna unscrew this here on this headlight, put that in the slot here, then screw it back in here. We're not gonna tighten up this metal on metal headlight clamp here. And uh, you do have to screw it in on one side and um, hold the nut in place on the other side. We're not gonna electronically connect the headlight uh, with these wires, which are color coded. This part of the handlebar was already installed, but I love it when e-bike companies give you this guider here. But we're gonna make sure the alignment is good. So we got this bike put together, took us about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 
The hardest part to put on was the headlight. The size of this bike I think is pretty standard for a mountain bike. Uh, from wheel to wheel, it's about six feet, two inches long. The height of the handlebar from the floor is about three feet, eight and a half inches. The seat at its lowest point from the floor is about two feet, eight inches, but that's because I did put some air in the suspension here. And speaking of the suspension, look at that suspension on that bike. Like, I've never had a suspension like this before with these bells and whistles. Um, so I'm gonna try to explain this suspension as much as I can. First of all, you can add air to your suspension here. That'll help with the compression. The maximum PSI is uh, 275. This knob here helps you gauge how much suspension you have back here. Right now, uh, my suspension is locked. If I turn the knob here, I'll have like medium suspension. If I turn the knob here, then my suspension is open. I have the max suspension based on my settings. Now this knob here is called your rebound. It's to manage your rebound. What rebound means is when your suspension is engaged, how fast does it go back to its original position? That's what the rebound means. So the F means I want a fast rebound. So you can turn it that way. If you want a slow rebound, which means when it's engaged, it comes back to its orig original position slowly. Then you can turn the knob towards the S, which means a slow rebound. So I have my suspension fully open with the blue knob here. I have my rebound on fast and I put air in this suspension. So this is how much suspension I have now. Looks like we have adjustable suspension in the front. So on the right, uh, if you want to lock out your suspension, you're going to turn it this way. And uh, you have a large gauge on uh, how much you can control, how much suspension you have. If you want more suspension, then you turn it then you turn it this way. Other side here we have the preload adjustment knob. So if you want your ride to be softer, turn it to your left. If you want your suspension more stern, then you turn this to the right. I'm loving the design of this bike. A very sleek look. Love the paint job. And uh, in fact, I think this might be the best looking bike that I've ever reviewed on this channel. I'm gonna go through some of my videos. Let me know if y'all have seen a better looking bike and i'm not just saying that because these colors are similar to my fraternity colors get a look at our rear and front hydraulic disc brake loving the steel crank set here i really learned to appreciate these because some e-bike companies send you a plastic one get a look at our shimano eight gear shifter here this is the one i like the best front and rear brakes on your handlebar the width of the handlebar is pretty standard for a mountain bike about two feet three inches wide press the power button to turn our bike on Nice. Never had a display like this on an e-bike before. This looks like it calculates the temperature up here. First of all, it looks like we have a horn. Oh, that's real loud. To turn your light on, you're going to press and hold the plus button. And that turns on my beefy headlight. So we're not going to look at some of the basic items on our LED display here. Uh, first time ever I've had a display that calculates the temperature. Uh, it does have our speed gauge here and I think you can change this from miles per hour to kilometers. Over here we have our pedal assist mode and we have uh, how many watts that we're currently using. At the very top here we have our battery life and if we quickly click the power button uh, we have more information here. So we have our odometer. Uh, the time, how many minutes since the bike has been on, and we have our trip time. So how long have I ridden on my last trip? I did uh, take the bike for a spin here. Now if we want to go into our advanced settings, you're going to double click the M button here, so click it twice. And then that's going to take us to an advanced settings screen. Now I'm not going to go through all of these, but I will go through some of them. Uh, to go from one setting to the next, you're going to press plus or minus. If you want to change a setting, you're going to click the M button. And then uh, you can go up or down to change your setting. So it looks like we have our brightness level of our LED display, our unit system. Uh, that's how we're going to calculate our speed. So auto assist, uh, if you turn it on, it will adjust your assist level uh, according to your real time speed. What? So I believe that means it'll automatically assist you instead of you setting your pedal assist mode. We have our auto off time. So how long will, can the bike be on before it automatically shuts off? Real time clock display if we want that on or off. Temperature unit. So that's um, how do we want to calculate our weather? Do we want to do uh, Celsius or Fahrenheit? Uh, if we want a password, we can set it here. Fahrenheit. And here we have even more advanced settings. So we're going to quickly click the M button there. 
Now the password by default is one eight zero one. One eight zero one. I click M, and then I go into even more advanced settings. Again, not going to go through all of them. Uh, we have our limit speed. Let's click here. Look like we can go maximum of forty five kilometers. Um, look like we can change how many pedal assist modes we get. It look like we have a cruise control option here. Double click the M button to get out of all of those advanced settings. So we are about to try the different pedal assist modes. Going to start with mode one. Let's see how fast we go on one mode one. Pell assist just a little delayed on mode one. Let me go down the gear. Uh, I, not super hard to pedal on mode one, which is good, but that's uh, me in gear three. All right, 12. All right, 12 miles per hour mode one. Okay. Decent break so far, but that's mode one. So, so we're not going to do all five modes. We're going to do mode one, three, and five. So let's switch it to uh, mode three. Oh, okay. Well, it's pretty perfect in mode three. Go up a gear. 22. All right, 22, 23 miles per hour. Good brakes. Mode three. This bike isn't super gradual. In mode three, it wasn't gradual, so, but I backed up anyway, uh, just to see if we can hit our max speed on such a short strip. Don't think we'll have any problems with it, but let's see. Okay. I like, I like it when the pedal assist kicks on. Pretty good. Okay, I briefly hit 29 miles per hour. Max speed, mode five. All right, that suspension feel? Much better. Much better? <laughs> So, Vitalin T7, uh, all-terrain bike. Uh, what are your thoughts? I love it. You love it? <laughs> it's a smooth ride. Yeah. Very smooth ride. It takes all the bumps and humps. It just takes all that shock out. I don't feel any of that shock. The tires are real grippy, so I feel like I don't, I never feel like I'm gonna fall. Yeah. It hits the curves very well. Yeah. The battery life is great. Yeah. I feel like we could take this bike for an extended ride. Yeah. And, and you don't have to worry is, about the battery life. You don't have to worry about the battery life, and you don't have to worry about being uncomfortable. A little bit big. A little big for you? It's a <laughs> Yeah, like this, this this whole thing as a whole is just <laughs> huge, <laughs> and and it's heavy. Yeah. So somebody my size can't really just pick, pick it up, thing up and go. Yeah. But I can ride it. Yeah. It rides very nicely. I like the um, the display. Oh oh, and y'all, the seat is not bad. Hey. It's not bad. Okay. Uh, one in ten. I'm gonna have to give this one. A nine and a half. Nine point five. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. All right. So we're now about to get our point of view shots in. A beautiful day today. Perfect weather too. I think it's like seventy-five degrees, eighty degrees. So it's been really hot here. So it's great to have uh, decent weather. First thing we're gonna do is try the uh, test out the off-road tires. Do some gravel here, and uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna do well. Um, 
These are some of the grippier tires. These are CST tires. I think the Chow Yang tires are a little bit more durable, but regarding grippy, uh, having grip on the floor, they're about the same. Now, of course, with the uh, large grippy tires, all-terrain tires, and the wide handlebar, you can definitely lean into your turns, um, which I like leaning just because I feel like it gives you more control over your turns. First off, I love the size of the bike. The handlebar is not too far from the seat, so I don't feel like I have to lean over crazy. And uh, I'm not, my posture is not straight up either. It's a good balance between the two. But um, I'm 5'11", 6 feet with shoes on. This bike is the perfect size for a guy my size, um, in my opinion. Also, um, I cannot adjust the pedal assist sensitivity. All I can really adjust regarding the pedal assist is whether it's auto or manual but this pedal assist is pretty much perfect like uh it's up there i say top two top three <laughs> regarding the pedal assist sensitivity i give you all an example and so let me go mode three i'm gonna go mode three and i'm gonna start pedaling right it's not gonna send me flying and it's not gonna be delayed like it's perfect and, and the sensitivity is perfect too so still wish i could adjust my pedal assist sensitivity because what was i what if i was heavier So we're about to do some off-road riding, so we're not gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Now see how well we perform. I have my front and rear suspension adjusted to my liking. How well we do here. Yeah, it's definitely up there regarding smoothness. Yeah. This is up there with the smoothness of, um, I've had on a e-bike so far i feel nothing um not sure if the camera's doing it any justice go down here see, we got some jumping nice Some more jumping here okay this is like all right yeah, this is definitely up there regarding um, off-road. I don't feel anything. And what's crazy is you can adjust the rear suspension. Like, that's a really cool feature too. But uh, I think I adjusted it pretty good because I don't know if y'all notice my voice ain't cracking or nothing like that. <laughs> Usually you hear my voice bumbling, but ah. So we're not going to do a speed test up the hill so i'm not gonna pedal do a throttle only want to see uh, just how much speed we lose going up a pretty steep hill about a 35 degree hill 35 yeah 35 degree hill we're in mode five uh look like going into the hill i'm at uh i was at 24 here comes the hill now okay That's not bad actually. I went from 24 to 17. Try max speed throttle only. See how fast we go here. And I'm in mode five. So Vitalin T7, I love this bike. Uh, what I like the most about this bike is the suspension. 
Uh, regarding off-road riding, this bike performed the second best. Um, the bike that beats this one has a 26 by 4.8 inch tire, so really <laughs> fat tires. And I think the uh, tires that fat does make your ride more comfortable off-road, but it also makes your bike more bulky. So I love the size of this bike for a guy my size, which is 5'11". Uh, it's perfect. Not too big and not too small. I love the speed and I love the battery life. And regarding the battery life, I went on like a 12 mile bike ride mainly in mode 3 but I also did some mode 4 and 5 also did some throttle only in that 12 miles I still had pretty much my whole battery bar so and I love how comfortable this bike is this is the only bike with a motorcycle style front fork that I felt comfortable enough to ride with out my hand on the handlebar you know what I mean I could vlog while riding the bike which I don't suggest but I love the brakes uh, I think the only big miss with this bike is although it gives me the perfect amount of pedal assist and although you can adjust your pedal assist to be manual or automatic i do wish that they had a feature where you can control your pedal assist sensitivity and a small miss is a rear light which you can purchase pretty cheaply so on a scale from one to ten i would give this bike a nine uh, comment below on what you would give this bike any other electric vehicle or bike that you want me to review comment below thank you all for watching peace